Dobra Dan. Stiravete. And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. Here we are in that strange week between Christmas and New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Where nothing much really happens. Apart, apart from you're still eating a lot. <laughs> oh yes, there's plenty of food. Um, our turkey was delicious. Our gammon was delicious. Max's favourite part of the whole meal, so. <laughs> yeah, we did well with the food this year. I think the turkey was actually one of the nicest I've ever eaten. Yes, and, and with the exception of the carrots, all co cooked in or on the pechka. Yes, we had to <laughs> put the carrots into the little oven just to finish off the glaze on the top because yeah. we haven't got a grill in the big oven. And we haven't worked out how to do that yet. No, I don't think we can. Don't know. I'll look into it. <laughs> <laughs> But we started with the on Christmas Eve. Yes, we had a surprise. Yeah, we had a visit from the Kaladari. Kaladari. <laughs> Which are male cow singers. Yes, the Bulgarians have a tradition of the young males of the village coming round to every house on Christmas Eve. Yes. Dressed sir. in full costume. Yes. Uh, carrying staffs and banging on the ground and singing songs. Yes, they came to drive out our evil spirits. Yeah. Well, not necessarily ours, but... <laughs> and to bless our house for the following year. They sang a song for Max. Yes, they sang a song for our son. We're not quite sure what the song was about. No. <laughs> um, hopefully they all move out and leave us in peace. <laughs> I doubt that's it. <laughs> so I do I. It. <laughs> but yes, they gave, wished us more blessings and there were stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. And... More health happiness and happiness. And there are grains of sand on the beach. Yes. That was it. So we've been blessed. Which was lovely. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And they were, their vocal performance was excellent. Yeah. And they sampled some English sausage rolls. That's cooked <laughs> by them. Um, it's traditional to get, to kind of pay them with food. A bit like Carol Sings in the UK. Um, so they had some sausage rolls, homemade. They seemed impressed. <laughs> Whether they were or not, or just being polite, we're not sure. But... Um, they're lovely sausage rolls. So. Yes, that was a lovely start to our Christmas celebrations. Yes. And did we get Christmas dinner at the table, Adam? Well, you remember last week we just about finished the floor. This is what we've done since. The next stage for the family room is for us to do the skirting board. Now, we haven't actually got any skirting board, but we do have two leftover lengths of floorboard. My plan is to take off the tongue from the tongue and groove part, route her over the end to give it a, a curved edge, sand it, stain it, and use that as skirting board. So the first thing to do is cut it to the length that we need. I've already measured, so let's do that. That's the tongue cut off all the bits we're using for floorboard. The next job is to just take the corner off. I'm going to use the router in the router table just to take the edge off and give us a finish that we quite like. So now that I've passed them all across the router table, you can see how it's cut the edge of the corner. Uh, all I have to do now is sand the floorboards to tidy them up, stain them and fit them. So we now have the lengths of skirting board all cut, trimmed, sanded and ready to be stained. So that's the next step. So that's the skirting board now cut to size the angles are cut, it's put in position where it's going to go. All I have to do now is fix it. Being an old house, you can see nothing is square. There's a very small gap underneath the board and a larger gap at the back. My plan is to glue the skirting board to the wall wherever it touches the wall and to the floor wherever it touches the floor. So once that's set and secure, I can fill in the gaps 
and that'll give us a nice finish. The gaps have now been filled around the front and backs of the skirting board. Uh, where the skirting board meets the floorboards we've used wood filler and uh, behind the skirting board to the wall we used an acrylic filler that could be painted. My next job is just to paint the acrylic filler and the bottom part of the wall. Make sure that's all as it should be. Take off the masking tape along the top and that'll be that part done. Then what we need to do is do the second coat of stain on the floor and we can put the room back together. Although we may put the room back together and do this stain at a later date, it'd just be nice to have a dining room. So that's the paint dry and the masking tape removed and that's the finish we've got at the back of the skirting board. I think it's quite smart, we've got straight lines. What I've got to do now is finish off the floor, but as I said previously, that can wait. We've also now put the coving in place and painted that, so that finishes off the, the join between the ceiling and the walls. Um, it's quite a tidy finish, so we're quite happy with that. So after all the work we've done, was it worth it? Over in the corner we have our authentic Bulgarian buffet, which is a type of sideboard, keeping glasses, plates, that sort of thing. Behind the curtain is the gap that we put through from the top house to the bottom house. I've still got to build the steps for that, but at the moment we're covering it with the curtain just to stop the drafts and so you're not looking into the corridor. And of course there's the all important table and chairs. We can now sit and have dinner in the comfort of a dining room. And we've two comfortable armchairs so we can sit and read, chat, do whatever we want to do really. They're very popular with the cats and Dexter. There's still a few things left to do in here. I have to build a cupboard around the boiler, which underneath will keep the hoover. Um, but that can wait for the time being. And over in this corner, we're going to build in a piece of bespoke furniture, which will also double as the stairs up to a loft hatch. I've also got to put that in in the future. But for the time being, we have a dining room and it's all ready for use. Lynn has decorated the windowsill along with other parts of the dining room. She's used a combination of Christmas decorations and greenery foraged from the nearby woodlands. It looks very festive, but the big question is, did we have Christmas dinner at the table? So in answer to the question, will we be able to have Christmas dinner in our new dining room? Here's the answer. The table's set, the food's ready. We're ready to go. Merry Christmas. So we did have Christmas dinner sitting at the table. We did. Which was lovely. The room wasn't quite finished, but it was finished enough for us to get the table, the chairs, the tablecloth, the food, all the bits we needed for Christmas dinner. And we were worried with the hole in the wall and the ceiling not finished in the kitchen, whether the room would be too cold or not. But after a morning in the kitchen, in our present <laughs> kitchen with the Pechka, it was actually delightful to go and sit in a cooler room. Yes, it does get quite hot in the kitchen when you're cooking on a Pechka. <laughs> and we've had fairly mild weather, so we haven't really mm. noticed the lack of temperature in that room, no, have we? No, so it's been quite pleasant. Once we've finished our kitchen, new kitchen, um, and moved to Petrica down to this end, that should also heat the dining room, so. Yeah, we think it will heat both rooms That's the plan. adequately enough. <laughs> well, that's the plan. If it doesn't work, we'll think of something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a very quiet week after that. Yes, yeah, so as befits the week between Christmas and New Year. Yeah. Just pottering around, doing odd little jobs here and there. Yeah, pop to the shop, that sort of thing. <laughs> so yeah. Only the local ones. Oh, yeah. yeah, we've not left the village. No. So that's probably about it from us this week. Yes, it just leaves us to say. Chestita Nova Godina. Or Happy New Year. <laughs> and we'll see you all next year. Have a lovely time. Take care. Bye. Doskoro. Doskoro. Doskoro.